Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial on poly tile printing. Today in this video you'll learn how to create a tile, how to print and how to create an Andy Warhol inspired piece. So let's get started. You will need a simple line drawing which is an A4 size. Please see the link below about how to draw a face or you can simply just trace one. You also need some tracing paper, the poly tile, some masking tape, a pencil and a biro. So lay the tracing paper over the picture of your face and get two bits of masking tape and attach it to the top so it doesn't slide around. Then you're going to simply trace the outline using a pencil. Once that's done, take the tracing paper off and now you need to transfer the tracing onto the poly tile. You simply place the tracing paper on top of the tile and again put a bit of masking tape on. Using the biro and starting from the middle, you're scraping through with the biro to create a ridge. The reason you start in the middle is because the tracing paper will tear so you don't want to lose any features as this is the most important part. Keep going until everything is traced, then remove the tracing paper and go over everything again just to make sure it's refined and you have every single detail. Now moving on to printing, you'll need a selection of brightly coloured paper and also some cartridge paper. You will need your tile, you'll need two rollers, some ink and a plastic sheet. So these are the rollers, we usually use two, one is for the inking and one is for dry rollering. Each roller will have a foot, this is for turning the roller over and placing it down on the table to stop the roller sticking to any newspaper or the paper that you've laid down on the table. So now moving on to printing, you need to put a blob of ink on your plastic sheet and then taking one roller and evenly distributing the ink across the roller. Once you've done that, you need to roll over the whole of your tile with the ink and make sure that it's evenly spread out and it's not patchy. Then place a piece of paper over the poly tile, then take your dry roller and roll over the whole back so you get a nice even print. Then peel off your piece of paper, leave it to dry, then repeat the process until your pile of paper has gone. So by the end of this you should have quite a lot of prints. I've chosen three of each colour plus three of cartridge. So you should have around 30 prints. So what makes a good print and what makes a bad print? This is a bad print as the ink is not evenly distributed, there's patches, the colour is not very bright, so therefore it's a bad one. This is a good print as the colour is nice and even, it's nice and dark and it's not patchy. So now it's time to create a Andy Warhol inspired piece out of your prints. So for this you'll need an A2 bit of paper, you need your prints, some glue and some scissors. So the first step is to stick down four different colour prints that you've created onto the bit of paper side by side. So now you want to take the other prints you've done in other colours, cut out the features and place on a different colour. Keep building it up until each individual feature has a different colour. Keep going until each quarter is done. So there you go, you've got your Andy Warhol inspired piece. In this video today we've learnt so much, we've learnt how to create a poly tile, how to print and how to create an Andy Warhol inspired piece. Thanks guys for watching, I hope to see you all again soon.